This is your weather extreme video for Saturday, March the 4th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it's a chilly start to our first weekend in March, but it's going to be a beautiful day. Satellite image this morning shows we have clear skies over all of the southeastern U.S., a few high cirrus clouds across parts of southern Arkansas, a little bit of central Mississippi and Louisiana. Otherwise, it's going to be a gorgeous sunny day as high pressure continues to move eastward across the area. And uh, that will allow us to see a gorgeous day today in the upper atmosphere. Uh, we're experiencing northwesterly flow, but that is going to be changing over the weekend so that uh, Monday and or sorry, Sunday and Monday, we will continue to see a warming trend. By Monday, we should be uh, up to around 70 degrees. Temperatures this morning starting the day out generally around the freezing mark or slightly below. I know Birmingham's sitting there at 38, uh, the heat island effect uh, showing up pretty well. Knocklula Falls had uh, 26, and I believe that uh, Vic Bell in Black Creek was down to 23 this morning. The watch warning map uh, features the dark blue over parts of Georgia and South Carolina and a little bit of North Carolina, our uh, hard freeze uh, warnings. We have uh, some hydrologic outlooks, those light green areas uh, over parts of the lower Mississippi River. There's uh, high fire danger, the, the bright pinks in the central plains, parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and Colorado. And then uh, the browns are wind advisories uh, or wind warnings, and the purples and sort of um, brighter pinks are winter weather advisories in parts of the central Rocky Mountains. Over the next five days, uh, the QPF suggesting on the order of about uh, probably, uh, oh, maybe three quarters to one inch of rain over uh, much of central Alabama. Most of that coming with the system that will produce rain primarily on Tuesday. Storm Prediction Center uh, for day one has some thunderstorms along the northwest coast as well as over the uh, southern Rio Grande uh, Valley of Texas. For day two, uh, we see a few thunderstorms still over the southeast coast of Texas and along the northwest coast of the United States from uh, about San Francisco northward. And then on day three, we have a, a fairly large marginal risk area over the central plain states from uh, northeast Texas all the way up uh, into eastern Iowa primarily. All right, the 060 GFS model run this morning, and there's our surface high. It'll be gradually moving off uh, to the east, and as it does, uh, the pattern will come around to the south. We see that uh, even today, uh, moisture is beginning to go up the Rio Grande Valley. In the upper atmosphere on Sunday, the flow definitely goes to a ridge pattern as the northwesterly flow migrates away from us and we come under a ridge, so continuing to warm just a little bit. We see a little disturbance there over the lower Mississippi River Valley, but that not likely to do more than produce uh, some clouds for us and maybe uh, some additional showers along uh, the Gulf Coast, uh, especially in the vicinity of the Louisiana Gulf Coast. The ridge moves uh, off uh, to uh, basically along the uh, east coast and just inland uh, from the east coast on, uh, on Monday. And uh, we see a very strong or very uh, tight uh, closed low, surface low, uh, over uh, North Dakota uh, with a cold front stretching down into Texas on Monday. That system will move gradually to the uh, east as we see a whopper of a closed low there in the upper atmosphere on Tuesday north of the Great Lakes but in southern Canada. And uh, that dragging the cold front down into our area. So I think Tuesday is going to be the big day. The question about severe weather, uh, is, as there always is, is that in this case, the system is very far north from us. Uh, and also uh, the, the uh, GFS suggesting that dew points may get up into the lower 60s as far north as the Tennessee River Valley. Uh, we'll certainly have to watch that. But right now, it looks like the threat for severe weather, while not completely zero is certainly uh, somewhat marginal. For Wednesday, the trough moves off the east coast or onto the east coast and the front goes ahead and blasts on through and, and heads off the southeast coast of the U.S. So we'll cool back down. Fortunately, it won't be quite as cold as this system is. We do see a northwesterly flow on Thursday, uh, but that uh, again, that northwesterly flow not coming from as far north. The uh, 
Northwesterly flow migrates to a ridge on Friday, so we should warm back up very quickly. And even on Saturday, uh, the ridge moves off onto the east coast, and we're coming under a little bit more of a southwesterly flow with a slight disturbance there and a short wave. So it looks like we may see the possibility of some scattered showers on Saturday uh, a week from today as the flow definitely, the, the uh, surface flow definitely goes around to the south. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, it's uh, pretty active. Uh, there's a pretty strong system around the 13th of March coming through the southern Great Lakes, but another system hanging back over the Rockies. That second system comes out uh, very strongly on the 15th of March, and uh, this certainly has the potential look of severe weather. Uh, the closed low is far enough south. The associated surface low would be in the vicinity of of middle uh, western Tennessee and western Kentucky. So uh, that certainly suggests that we may see the possibility of severe weather. And then uh, one of the questions is whether or not we've seen our last uh, freeze of the season. I don't think so. When you look at this uh, pattern around the 18th, that's a pretty chilly look to it. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Expect to have the next one posted around 7 tomorrow morning. Stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Enjoy this fabulous March weather and Godspeed.